Hi, this is Kim Gentis. I'm back, and we're going to do another uh, another worship song here, and just learn a couple of techniques that go along with it. This song that I want to look at today is called um, "Hallelujah Glory." It's uh, another mid '90s song, and again, I'm doing a lot of these songs that are pre. 2000 pre-internet um, songs because I know a lot of people have learned those songs already uh, that, that have come after the internet, uh, you know, as in, there's a lot of blogs and video and YouTube and everything like that where people can get stuff. So I'm taking some songs that are older and just giving a few guitar uh, stuff for it. So this this song is in the key of E. On this song, there the, the chords are played all up in the 7th and 5th fret for the most part. And like this, this nice E right here doesn't have any A in it, so that's a third in, in the chord. And uh, it sounds real strong, and it, there's still some brightness on the high notes, but strong, uh, you know, on the low notes there. So, so it's really cool. The song Hallelujah Glory goes like this. That's a little, that's just a little bit of a movement from the E and into a derivation, down to an A, an open face A, and then back uh, to a little bit, back to the E. But basically the way that you do that is you mute again with your right hand. A lot of these songs are doing a lot of, you know, semi-muting or full muting on the strings. You can hear that. Um, but you'd basically take and you go, something like this, and I'm going to do it slow so you can, um, you know, take a look at it. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing that E, and then I'm dropping my second finger down and pulling my pinky up. face A chord and then plucking these strings and just doing a hammer on on the pluck like that and when you bring it all together and do it quicker and in terms of the song when you're singing along with it it goes something like this part of the song, uh, but that, that'll get you started uh, on playing it. There, it's, it's actually a song just only has three chords in it, E, A, and B, um, but that's kind of the more difficult part uh, in, in singing along with it, so there you go.